Hey everyone, Danny here, back with another video. Have you ever wondered what the condition is inside your engine? Should you sell it before something major breaks or put a little money into it and keep it going? In today's video, I'm going to use this borescope to look deep inside my engine. I'm going to check out the pistons and the valves. What I'm looking for is carbon buildup or oil buildup. My Honda Element has 124,000 miles on it and it's been well maintained. I'll be showing you how to use this borescope to check your own engine. I'm excited to see what my pistons and valves look like. So if you're interested in learning more about what your engine looks like or just curious about what's going on inside the engine, then make sure you watch this video. Let's get started. I've got the boroscope wedged right here. It's sitting in a fixture, that way you can see it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now that it's on, this is the camera. And this is everything you're gonna see. But what I need to do right now, I need to remove this cover. That way it'll reveal the coils and the spark plugs. We'll remove the cover and set it aside. Next up, I'm gonna use that same 10 millimeter ratchet and socket assembly to remove the coils. Now I can remove the coils. So you just wanna lift it up a little bit, unleash this little tab, and then pull it out. So here's coil one, and then here's the last coil. And then I'm going to just set these aside on the bench. You actually want to look inside here to see if there's any oil. If there's any oil, you're going to need a valve cover and then the seals inside that valve cover. Next, I'm going to remove the plugs. This is my setup. So we're just going to go in. So I did a tune-up on this car and I'll put a link in the description and at the end of the video of the tune-up I did, but my plugs look good. So if I come over here, we'll go down the cylinder, see, and there's the piston right there. So now I can turn the power steering pump here and I'm watching the piston go down. So that's going to be the easiest way to determine the position of your piston. So right now we should be recording and on the element, boy, it's a, it's a long way down this hole to get there. Just got to kind of center it. There we go. Oh my God. Look at that. That thing looks, looks amazing. Get down there a little bit. There is like no carbon buildup at all. So I'm gonna turn it and let's see if I can see the valves. And there's the cylinder wall. Let's see if we can go all the way and see the valve seats. So those are looking really good. We're gonna come down a little bit. Got a good look at the valves. How's that for 124,000 miles? And then we're going to flip it around. Let's come around again. Wow, that looks good. That looks really good. So let me pull this back out. There's my next cylinder. Yeah, this is a lot better than my Civic was. And I thought my Civic was great, but the Civic has 172,000 miles on it. So all is good here. Let's go ahead and flip it around and look at the valves. Yep, 
Look at how clean this engine is. So now I'm gonna look at the other two cylinders. It looks really well. Go down a little bit further. And then let's flip it up. Look at those valves, boy. Looks really nice. Go back down. Let's check out my last one. Everything's looking good here. Flip it around. What amazing condition this Honda Element is in after, I think it's got 125,000. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put this back together. I think our test is complete. So one more thing on this boroscope, it comes with some attachments and one of them has a magnet at the end of it and it's for retrieving lost bolts. So I have a bolt down here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna go down and retrieve it. So if I was looking for that bolt, yeah, that, this, is, this is actually pretty tough. Unless you're staring at it, I mean, I can get it, I can pull it up and find it, but I'm not loving this idea. So now I'm gonna get the plugs back in and I have a full uh, video on doing spark plugs. And then also I have a video on doing a compression test on the Honda Element. And they all kind of show the, the same thing as far as putting the plugs in, torquing them down, and by the way, these are gonna to be torqued down to right about 14. Hopefully you got something out of today's video. I did do a review on the Boroscope. It's a DXZ TAS. I'll have a link in the description. I'll also have links to all the tools I used in today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't wanna